So what's been happening since I created my own kingdom, says Black Skull Dragon? Oh my god, again. We're getting tech so fast this episode. More economic advances. Good, that's what I like the most. Um, we just took an island, which was also an emirate, which is nice. We took... God, would you stop? There we go. We just took this island, which is very valuable. A lot of money flows through here because we now have control of another trade post. Which I believe the previous owners were in the middle of upgrading when we conquered it, which is very convenient for us. This land is all very, very upgraded because the previous owner was very wealthy. Hey, sorry, who's the owner of this? Oh, some guy who shouldn't be the owner of it. I'm just gonna re I'm just gonna take it from him. Yeah. And now I personally own it, which I'll probably just give it up later. I don't really care too much to own that directly. Just some mosque. Um, yeah, I don't really care to own that directly too much. That'll be like top priority to get rid of when I'm at my limit. Oh, I'm back down to nine again. My wife, did she get sick or something and lose some of her skill that she gives to me? I don't know. Damn, that's a shame. Not the biggest deal in the world. I'll probably just give away that mosque when my castle's done being built up here. Castle will be finished in uh, 853 December. Okay. So it's still more than a year off. <sighs> Man, I, I didn't... I ate like an hour and a half ago and already I'm, my stomach's grumbling because I'm thinking about dinner tonight. Cooked up some ground beef. Got some nice taco seasonings in there. Gonna be making some homemade burrito bowls. So damn good. All right, trade off a stun. Good. That's the last of those we can do right now with our current tech level. Trade practice of four or higher. Oh, and we can get another retinue already. Nice. All right, we just tripled our retinue size. Well, I mean, it'll build up to a maximum of triple. Knew there's a large... Oh, God. Enough with the nagging, you come along. It's the bear hunting thing again. But I managed to save him and he proves our bravery. I still don't get that event. That's a weird one. We've had it so many times this playthrough. Um, marry an imperial princess from China? We're already married to somebody right now. Maybe we'll have our son marry an imperial princess from China. I wouldn't mind. I want to get really close ties to China, uh, Dr. Nimbus. No, I'm not killing people on your behalf. Stop asking. Um, how do I, I request an imperial marriage, which is a thousand grace or higher. We're at 800 grace, so we're actually not that far off. And this is the guy who likes eunuchs. We can always send over another eunuch. Or make, you know, make somebody a eunuch and send them over. It's, these people are worth a lot, actually. You're just some Corteira. I don't care if I keep you. Then the person worth the most is this guy. And he's not a spy master. He has a favor for me. My favor will be cashed in of sending, of having him become a eunuch and send him to the Tang Empire. Sorry, dude. You're not going to like me much for this, but, uh, you know. Uh, I want, <laughs> that's a lot of grace. I can't pass that up. Yeah, he's not my spy master. Sorry, dude. I, uh... I, I, uh... Feel bad about it? I'll just say I feel bad about it. Oh, that's beautiful. We got we got a lot of grace out of that. China's loving us. Really want to get on China's good side here. They're in a golden age with an open policy to the Silk Road. That's so important. After two emperors in a row that were isolationists, that really hurt our income. Uh, royal marriage. Now, I want... I want a marriage for my son. I, I can't... Okay, I think he has to be of age. I think we can't set up a, um... I think we can't set up a betrothal. It has to be a straight-up marriage, so we need to wait until he's old enough. But that's fine. Ah, uh, graciously accepted your gift. I wonder if there's any power of the West that is closer friends to China than we are. Because we've been doing a pretty good job of buddying up to them. A betrothal between one of my daughters 
And the Prince of Egypt, uh, you can go fuck off because I'm conquering you later, Egypt. Uh, how old is he? I didn't even think to check, sorry. Um, hey, Nubia. Um, I don't suppose that... I don't suppose I want to do this war now. I kind of do. I think I do. I could always wait until my retinue is built up more. But really, I don't consider it the highest priority in the world. I'm thinking we're going to stomp him pretty hard. I could always switch my marshal to train troops. God, we have a good council, don't we? When barely anyone dips below 20? Hmm. I'm just thinking about how I want to handle this. Do we have any, uh, factions? We have one very weak faction. I'm not worried about that. It's this fucker. Yeah, I hate this guy. Yeah, that'll be tyrannical. Defeated me in a war. Rival, usurp title. Yeah, I hate this guy. I don't want him to have any land. If I can, uh, remove this guy in some way, I will. Hey, Muffins. Muffins, we're still playing as you. We're Salt and Muffin the Strong. We're the Sultan of, uh, the Ibrahim... The Ibramid Sultanate. And I think we're about ready for this. Uh, again, how many troops are they gonna bring in? Not many. They actually have a lot of retinue. It does mean that their retinue is almost definitely weaker troops than mine. But, uh, not the weakest in the world. Retinues are still something to be concerned about. Retinues are very well-trained troops. And then, I'm really- I'm not even worried about Nubia itself in the war. Like, the, Nubia may as well not exist. Um, my war is- like, my war with Nubia is pretty much just dealing with the Abbasid Empire while I go to Nubian lands to siege it. I might even consider just kind of walling this off and then using boats to do hit and runs on the coast. We'll need to at least, like, hit their big death ball army at least once, I think. Just because the war score will be good and to put the fear of God into him. Get him to run away a little bit and give us a little time to siege. Because if we're constantly running away, just like going away on our boats and stuff, they're just going to unsiege the places over and over. And that's just asking for a long, expensive war. I think what we're going to do now is we have money for days. We're going to start training troops in Mecca because it greatly increases our troop reinforcement rate to get us to that point of declaring faster. It also massively increases our maximum levy size. There we go. Yeah. And most of our levy comes out of Mecca itself. Dr. Nimbus says, about your next playthrough, make Kingdom of Israel? Maybe one day. Uh, the Kingdom of David is a fun achievement to get. Uh, I have not gotten it personally, actually. Uh, thanks for following Hot Potato YouTube. Welcome to the flock. I call, call from a physician. Oh, my daughter is ill. Yeah. Fate smiles upon me. Wife's pregnant. Nice. Have Muffins flex those military muscles. Uh, he is a brilliant strategist. He's a cavalry leader and a mountain expert, which honestly aren't the things I would have picked, but uh, he picked those before he was ever in power. Muffins is 48, so he's getting up there in age a little bit. Honestly, I think I just want to keep him at home. We don't need him in the fight, so let's not put him in the fight. I don't want to risk him getting hurt. He can be a brilliant strategist from home. Hey, Sassarus. Alright, wait a little bit longer, let this retinue build up a little bit, and, uh, wow, we are, we getting this army up fast. We're already at 9,000 troops, and we can get quite a few more. Liberator of the, uh, Protectorate General addresses the letter to the Righteous Sultan of the Ibramid Sultanate. Uh, to strengthen relations between our nations, my master has sent me on a mission to your domain. It would honor me to visit court and discuss philosophy with your imams. I don't see why not. Okay, so what are these? Um, 
he, oh, sorry, that's not Liberator. I totally misread that. Uh, lib Libertin, what the fuck word is that? Never seen it in my life. What are you, like a religious leader? Some Taoist religious leader, okay. Well, being Taoist gives you two stewardship just for being Taoist. Oh my God, if we can convert at some point, we will. Um, and that gets us some grace. I'd love that. Refusing to even talk to him would really piss them off. I don't see any reason not to talk to them. All right, we got some easy grace. That was useful. Sassarus. <laughs> Touch Master says, people are still trying to marry you. Sassarus says, yes, I hope that becomes a meme. I think it already is a meme at this point. Someone tries to marry you like every month. It's fucking weird. All right, who are we murdering? Some branded apostate? Some lowborn branded apostate? And the husband died while shitting? She must be a demon. Uh, da, 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 and I retreat, uh, finish our conversation, private, observe the moon and the castle wall. Suddenly, bright light streaks across the sky. Uh, as it turns ash and bad omen, mutters the translator, and the two men hastily depart. Wait, come back. It was going so well. I'll lose 200 grace. Fuck. Okay, you know what? We're 100 less grace than we started. That's still way better than if I refused. Then I would have lost 500. Instead, I lost a net of 100, which is not the worst thing in the world. How much prestige would we lose to do this? It doesn't say. We'd have to be absent for a little while, and I'd rather not do that when it's looking like we're about to go to war. And we're not allowed to declare on them until uh, 8.59, which is still quite a ways off. Are you in a war? They're defending against some people. They have no pacts. Could always just establish a tributary state, but... Um, yeah, that would... Yeah, I, could, I can't do that because I don't have the technology. And I can extort tribute, which is nice, but it's not going to be much money in the end, and as soon as uh, Muffins dies, it won't count anymore, so... Holy War. And just double check, he has almost no troops, and... Neither do they. I think we're declaring now. Holy War was declared. Raise every troop we have, because I want to go all out on this war. Okay. How many fleets do we have here, exactly? We have a total of uh, 51. Raise, don't raise, max total. Those numbers do not add up, but okay. We'll just take every boat. There we go. Uh, we have 51. Okay. Where's that 15 group down? I, I don't want them. There we go. The rest of you go to Jeddah. You will... Uh, pick up all these guys and drop them off there. All right. All these guys are going to Jeddah, and I'll probably just have them go across the water, whereas these guys will go down here. And let's just see where we first spot the enemies, and we'll, we'll deal with it from there. Lower the game speed just slightly. Okay, there's some enemies. Siege going on over there. Having many lovers is exciting for failing. Oh, right, he sells lovers from way back. Uh, your love, right, gay lovers. Uh, just break up with some random gay lover, I don't care. Ugh. 
Okay, um, I think we just want to hop some over the channel right now. Alright, we're playing this one a little bit defensively and we're gonna see how this goes. First, split the army. We're gonna take our main group here. God, it's- we really need more, uh, commanders. Hmm, lead the center. And you're nothing special either than having high skill. Okay. Take our center guy. There we go. I'm happy with that. No, I'd rather do that. There we go. I'm happy with that. And the other one that can split... Those merge, and there we go. This is our first embarking force. And we'll drop off over there. Not seeing anyone down there yet. You know, we don't even need that full group. We're gonna have some of the ships go down. Neither do we need that tiny group. And they will go straight across. Oh, shit. Alright, first name I see in the chat is uh, Black Skull Dragon's already taken, Toxmaster is taken, Super Gecko. There we go. Is that how you spelled it? Oh, that E looks like a C in this tiny ass font. Okay. Alright, this'll just... We'll absolutely slaughter them. And they're not actually even trying to go across there right now. Okay. Uh, Black Skull Dragon says, uh, It'd be a good idea to try seizing land near Egypt uh, so that if they declare war suddenly, it'll take a little time until they manage to make progress. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that. But we are see we are just gonna take Egypt at some point. Okay, what is this? Uh, find time spent with my daughter. Okay, just my daughter liking me more. Sorry, did I lose humble? Yeah, I just lost humble. It's a common thing that happens is you lose humble when you're a family man, because you become proud of your kids. Uh, let's try and get this war done fast. Yeah, we can we can assault with. Pretty much no losses. There we go. Fully assaulted that. And that got us a ton of war score. Are they not calling? They have not called Abyssinia into this war yet. I think Abyssinia is too busy with other things. Alright. Uh, reports reach us. The traitors and travelers are being harassed by raiders in the lands of Mecca. Caravan raiders, fuck. Let them continue if they share the loot? No. There's a chance my marshal dies. Ugh. I don't want my marshal to die. How long does this last? A long ass time. Ah, oh, this sucks. Okay, no matter what, there's a lack in value for a long time. That sucks. I'm sending my marshal. Okay, he didn't die. That's good. And you know what? I don't think I need to bring the rest of these people over. This is a massacre. Okay, uh, cowards deemed it too dangerous to interfere with the caravan raiders and refused to carry out my orders. I would have him arrested for this, however. That would not solve the problem of merchants. Uh, I can imprison my marshal. I really don't want to do that. Organize the soldiers to take care of it. Caravan raiders will be removed. Gets caravan guards, which lowers levy size, but increases trade value for a few- for ten years. You know what? I'll do that. That's not a bad solution. This is an absolute massacre. Mosque built good. 
We're at 99%. Are you gonna give in? Yeah. Easy. Too easy. Look at how quick that was to conquer. Not the retinues. Come on. There we go. 